we got a package. Um, this was off of eBay. Um, it is the camp. It is a Camp Cretaceous set. So I will just spoil that part. Let's see how good they package this stuff. Wow, already looking pretty good. I prefer these bag style ones than the boxes because, uh, I don't know, it's just easier it feels like to open. So you can see it's kind of smaller than most of the sets. Okay, so as you can already see there, they wrote us a little note. We'll just cut that off. Actually, I'll just cut this bubble wrap. Okay, three layers of bubble wrap. That is a lot of protection if you ask me. You can already kind of start to see what shape this is. As this is... Yep, you can already see it. It is the Sticky Moloch, um, okay, Sticky Moloch Dinosaur Escape Set. It's the Juniors 4 Plus, um, 129 pieces, set number 76939, comes with the Sticky Moloch in a brand new color, Ben, Brooklyn, Claire Deering, um, the same Claire we've seen for a while, and then the baby Ankylosaurus, which you could say is uh, their little friend Bumpy. And it's a pretty cool set. Junior sets, I feel like they're fun to get, but like you don't need them. I mean, unless it comes with a cool dinosaur, like that uh, 2018 Junior's T-Rex set um, was sick because it came with the gate and it had like everything it was awesome the packaging is great i'd give it a uh like a nine and a half i'm actually no that was a 10 that was really good packaging uh i think this is must have been lego's thing it's like a glue thing so i don't know maybe they tried to glue the box because this was unopened so it's a brand new set for all I know, and um, that is one interesting hot dog tree. I don't know why they, it's a rebuild the world thing on the back of the second instructions manual, but I don't feel like that is necessary. So I'm going to build this, and actually I'm going to try to build it without the instructions, and if I get stuck, I'll just go back and tell you where I got stuck at. So... There's bag one. Uh, I'm going to time lapse this and show you uh, everything as I'm building it. I'm lost guys so I'm now I'm gonna use the instructions for the first time in the video so I do have this side complete I believe on this Jeep I mean it sounds easy to build this but like I think it is harder than it looks so I'm gonna use the instructions um, and I'll see you guys at bag two So with that, we have completed bag one, and this is really all we made. All we did was a uh, Jeep and the Stig. So I'm going to continue the video, and I'll see you at the end of bag two. Okay, bag two is done, and again... 
I get it's a junior set, but all we build is this tiny cage and these two, like, roadblock things. And you have Brooklyn with her weird-looking feeding stick, I guess. So that's all we built. Forgot to say, see you guys after bag three. Then we'll review everything. <laughs> $30. Lego thinks this set is worth $30. I don't see it. It doesn't make sense to me at all. Um, it's not... I don't know. It doesn't feel... It feels like it's just missing something. Um, you have... Your Stiggy Moloch, which is, like, insanely cool. Um, don't get me wrong, the Stiggy Moloch is awesome, but for what you get, I mean, like, let's be real. This thing, the Jeep doesn't look complete unless you do have, like, that looks like a complete Jeep, but when you take it off, it, it looks, like, naked. It just doesn't look correct. And, like, if you were wanting to use this, you can't really do that. Also, you can't, I mean, you can't even really put them in there, like, to begin with. I mean, you got, like, two studs, but it's crazy hard to, Lego could have done better. Like, there. It's complete. And then you put them on there, and then, like, and that actually looks sick, though. That right there. That looks sick. I mean, it looks good. Now, the figures. Why do we need another Claire Deering in a set that Claire Deering does not belong in? It doesn't make sense to me. I feel like they could have... It would have made more sense to have Kenji in this set from the TV show. Because it's... This little build is technically called Camp Kenji. This right here is supposed to be Camp Kenji. And, like, the road signs, like, do we really need these road block things? Like, it just doesn't really make sense to me. This is cool, but, like, it could have been, like, three times bigger. They could have made a giant Camp Kenji set. It also would have been awesome to see um, the E750, the Scorpius Rex, to see it in Lego form. Bumpy. We get bumpy. I mean, that's, that obviously is going to raise the price. We have two iconic characters from the show in Brooklyn and Ben. But I just don't see how this is worth $30. It comes with a Jeep and a really small fort. And that's basically all you get. And a brand new Stig, but it's not a new dinosaur or anything. And one figure, Brooklyn, if you look at her eyebrows... It's not like it is in the show. Her hair and her, like, her facial expressions just, it's not Brooklyn. It doesn't look like Brooklyn. Now, I mean, is it a cool set? Yeah, but do I understand why there's this here? Like, this, I mean, sure, it looks cool, but, like, it didn't need to be there. I just feel like they, like, they did maybe too much because, like, there's just, for 130 pieces, roughly, and you just get two dinosaurs and basically two minifigures that, actually one minifigure that's worth anything. This is, Ben is actually ac somewhat accurate, but Claire, we didn't need Claire, and Brooklyn is fine. The build, it's super easy. It took me like 10 minutes, maybe, and... I mean, I like it. I'm not saying I hate it, but I'm just saying that Lego definitely, um, 
could have either made it bigger and had the same price, like maybe you have a better Jeep, or mostly the fort, the fort could have been better, because like you can't have six people in here. If it was like the real Camp Kenji and there was like space for stuff and you could fit six minifigs up here, I would be fine with that. But the fact that there's so little for such a high price is frustrating to me. Um, the eBay seller, uh, great job. Um, he did well, they did well with their contact, contacting me. Um, everything was perfect. You saw that little note they gave me with the bubble wrap on it, the thank you. Um, I thought that was pretty cool because other sellers I bought from didn't have that. And um, it's a good set. Um, definitely shouldn't be worth 30 bucks. eBay seller was great. Um, I don't really have anything bad to say about the seller. I mean, nothing is wrong with the seller. They did really good in shipping. It shipped in about three days. It didn't even, maybe two, honestly. Um, it was really fast shipping. Everything was good about them. Um, the build, um, I'll give it like a nine out of 10. They definitely could have had more um, Legos, like bricks and made it maybe, I mean, if you look at the instructions, one page, all it is is it has a hand and then it has the piece you're supposed to use, which in my opinion, that's like the most annoying thing Lego could do. The instructions is a two out of 10. That was just terrible. The dinosaurs, Bumpy and the Stiggy Moloch, nine out of 10, nine out of 10, um, solid. Uh, I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10 because it would have been more fun to see like a real life-size Bumpy and have like a Stiggy Moloch versus bumpy showdown set or whatever like but i know lego can't really i mean they could make a different colored ankylosaurus but i feel like it would just look awkward it would be really hard to get that correct color um everything um everything was good the seller i'm giving them a positive review um probably like if I were to rate it, it would be a 9 out of 10. The box has a little bit of damage, but they told me that when I were was going to get it. Very minimal damage. Um, Lego, on the other hand, I'm giving them a 6 out of 10. Um, dinosaurs were pretty cool. The fort and the Jeep just could have been so much better. And I really don't think this could have been a junior set. I think they should have made it about like 300 or 230 pieces. And that would have been... That would have hit the spot if they had like a real larger fort and a better Jeep. So that's my review on set number 76939, uh, Stiggy Moloch Dinosaur Escape. Um, now, if you do look and compare this Stiggy Moloch to the other Stiggy Moloch that we got in the Dr. Wu's set, you can tell they're very, very similar. Uh, the eyes on this one look like more sweet, I guess. Like, it looks more happy. And then the colors are clearly different. The patterns are different. Like, on their sides, the patterns are different. And then, um, yeah, those are very minimal. Um, I would definitely say um, they look very much alike. This one looks more angry, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's my full review. Minifigures were pretty good. Um, definitely could have had more pieces and less money. Um, shouldn't have been a junior set, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I know it sounds annoying to, uh, hear me say and like other, uh, content creators say like, oh, hit that follow button or subscribe or like but if you guys really do subscribe and like and watch the video um share it with your friends um that would really help me and then i can keep doing more of these reviews on lego jurassic world and park things um but yeah uh thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next one